Well, it's a beautiful Saturday morning. Rancho Max. It's a knife day Saturday. Farmer's Market. Stand by. Yeah, well, everybody's opening with setup. The best of it is a soap lady selling soap. I don't see the barbecue lady. We got one guy just brought us uh, six big fishing knives, five or six pocket knives, nine knives here, nine kitchen knives. Good gracious! I got and a bubble blade, a nice bubble blade. Go for it. Okay. Well, it's not gonna be much of a farmer's market video because we were so damn busy, didn't have time to shoot no video. I mean, it was the busiest knife sharpening day I ever had. And I'm glad my buddy Timmy was with me because one person could not have ever been through. We, did, we worked till 12.45 and the market closes at, one, at 12. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. And still got five pair of scissors to sharpen. I brought home. I forgot what it was. I'll tell you a little. I think it's like 60 some knives we did today. cleaned out. We had uh, we got two dozen eggs, a dozen for me and a dozen for Tim and 69's we had today counting the five pair of scissors that I have I brought home. So we had 55 knives today. And like I said, two dozen eggs. We got the eggs before. We do it for one of the vendors. He's a chicken vendor. Sells chickens and, you know, free range chickens. He raises them and collects the eggs and sells the chickens. And I do all their chicken knives for them. So they pay us in eggs. That's not a bad deal, though. If you like eggs like I do. Okay. Maybe a spin tomorrow if the weather's nice. I know I keep telling you that, but. It's going to happen, believe me. The doctor told me I got to get back detected. I've gained some weight, blood pressure is back up, this and that. He said, I don't like it. I said, okay, doctor, I'll take care of it. I probably told you he's a kid who used to work for me, so he takes care of me now. See you tomorrow someplace. Well, I got some scissors to sharpen in the morning, so I'm going to sharpen them and uh, Timmy wants to come over and try his hand at sharpening scissors because he's going to be on his own in two more weeks. Okay, I'll get back to you. Good luck to everybody. We were so busy at the fair, we didn't have any time to take any pictures. I polished and polished and blended and blended and I still can't get all those major scratches that he put in it with the sandpaper. So I'm going to reprofile the whole blade. This is before. I've already started on this side. You can kind of get a glimpse of it. This was the worst side.
No, it gouges out. I finished. All the dings and scratches are gone. Back in the case. Well, I was going for a spin with the Mumbles man, but it didn't work out. He just parked at the land of not. He just texted me, said, I'm here. I kept you coming. Uh, I'm not going to make it. Maybe tomorrow. It's 80 degrees today. I mean, you couldn't draw it on paper. It would be any nicer. Perfect day for a spin. Anyway, I'm headed to uh, pick up some knives from a return customer in about, I don't know, 12 minutes from where I live. Then I got to swing by Low Tide Tim's house. Check him out. Stand by. Well, I got my chisels all cleaned up, ready to sharpen. All polished on the back, flattened out. And then I picked up these knives a minute ago. This is a big old fat shun, older model. It's got, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, it's got a fairly good sized chip right there. But it's not bad. And then we got a great big old Hanko Wustoff Dexter, I don't know what it is. 10 inch job. Looks like it's been pulled through some kind of machine. Whereas the shun it hasn't been, it doesn't appear like. Well, maybe it has. Okay, I gotta get back to work. Stand by. the uh, adjustable arm on. You turn the arm, it pulls the table to the belt. And you take off increments of time. You just tighten her up a little bit. You close it in a little more. Well, I got four done. Five to go tomorrow. I got the report back from the mumbles man. He said, it's a good thing you didn't go. I had the mumbles, he said. Meaning, there was no targets. He had the mumbles. Now I got to get into that mode right now. Oh, God. Stand by. This is day two. Garage cleanup. I'm just about finished. Except for this side over here, which I may not mess with for a while. 
but this was this was a disaster room here and it uh still looks like a disaster but believe me it's nice now i got the things where i can get to them my generator rolls out of that cart i set it in my truck it's a uh, much much better than it was believe me I'm getting ready to finish up I got four chisels to finish up and then I'm done unless somebody calls me then I'm going to I don't know what I'm going to do I cut the grass yesterday in the back so I don't have to worry with that then he went detecting yesterday I told you him and Beaver and they had the mumbles from not finding anything I probably already told you this I'll put some pictures on this so you'll know what the mumbles look like okay it's breezy today probably 18 or 20 out of the northeast I'll get back to you take it easy well I was thinking Wednesday was going to be a no knife day but Chris brought these home from work. A fellow dropped them off at her office for me to sharpen today. Wait a minute, I got one more here somewhere. One wooden handle knife. These are Chinese. One, two, three, four. Harris teeter knives. But this one's a nice one. This is a Germain. LC Germain knife. And this one, I buffed the name kind of off of it, I think. Something, something, process patent number. I don't know if it has a name. But that's not a bad knife. Okay, I got a fellow who's bringing me a dagger, seven inch dagger. I want some to sharpen it. I'm going to do that in a few minutes. I got a couple of uh, thrift store knives in here I bought. I bought a whole set of this one. And this one. And this one. I don't know what kind they are. There wasn't any name on them that I can recall. And I bought this one yesterday. This is just a no name at all. I think it's just a cheap little Chinese knife. Might go good in my rental stuff. Okay. I'm waiting for the dagger guy to show up now. Oh, I just got the dagger. The kid was telling me about it. You see a lot of daggers at the knife shows. But this is a nice long dagger. This must be eight, eight inches long maybe. I've never seen a dagger quite this long. Seven James Bond movie. No, I did have one once. It was long like this. It was a Gerber, I think. Extreme Radio Made in Italy. Well, that's pretty nice. A nice dagger. I said daggers aren't supposed to be sharp. They're just for poking you. He said, I want it sharp. You can see the tip on it. It's like a little razor on the end. I mean, a needle. My God. Okay. you can see from the, the edge that was on there just to get it as sharp as it is now now don't get me wrong if you want it sharper we can do it sharper but it would take another mm, I don't know how long it would take hard as that steel is but it's not